Hi everybody, Radamont here, uh, picking up where I left off. So I am attempting to finish off this uh, wind turbine in order to have a more steady source of power in my base. I just installed some lovely uh, uh, some lovely carpets inside. I'd love to eventually get to the point where I could carpet the whole place just for the beauty, because obviously, as you can see, it helps a bunch. Um, but I'm not, of course, there yet. I'm going to tell Doc to do some cleaning after we haul this slag. Oh, you didn't grab all the gold. That is annoying. I should have been watching you. You don't need happiness. Get to work. <laughs> I am a bit of a slave driver, but hey, we're living out here on the rim on the edge of the world. I need to crack the whip occasionally. So as you can see here, despite my many attempts to have uh, really to have a uh, power both like redundant abundantly redundant power sources um, doesn't seem to matter. I'm not I don't produce a lot of power. There's a lot of boom bust here. Um, so knowing that there's a heck of a lot of boom bust, uh, I find it pretty important to make sure that uh, I have battery backups. So that's one of the things I've been doing. Ooh, boom rat leather. That's fine. And steel slag. Oh man, my graveyard's getting big again. I mean, it's been big, but it's getting bigger. It's 15 across and 5 deep. Yikes. Alright, let's flick this on. So let's see. Mediocre, mediocre, identical. Ew, we're eating raw. Yeah, I really need to get growing, obviously. If I ever wanted to be a cannibal, I have no shortage of food, but I have not, not even once on this playthrough, spent any time as a cannibal. So, if I can help it, I will not. That is not um, something I'm planning on doing. So, uh, actually, if I smelted all the slag that I currently have, I would, uh, let's fix these, clean and haul, actually I want it the other way around, but, alright, there we go, I would have enough metal for this turbine, um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do, flick on the turbine, you eating kibble. <laughs> I said flick on the turbine. Flick on the electric smelter. Oh, man. I don't know where my brain's at, but... Somewhere else, I suppose. And then... Get some metal. Flick the sun lamp off. And build this beautiful, beautiful wind turbine here. With an accompanied. There we go. Uh, Doc, when you're done hauling that slag. I'll have you flick off the smelter. Escape pod. Coley, the commissar. Ah, well, welcome to my little corner of hell. Population 2. Um, let's see, gotta pause for a second to check something out, if you guys don't mind. I'm trying to look up some expansion projects that I might, uh, I might undertake. Um, 
I am hoping that I have the resources to uh, to expand in s such a way. We will see. I'll just keep going. All this wind power is good for my batteries. That's for sure. But no one flicked this off. NG, that falls to you now. Batteries are filling back up. A boom before a bust, I suspect. Haul in some more slag. How much more slag is there? 15. 21. You're not slag, you're a dead body. Various. So that's not slag, that's components. I need to haul that in. So there is a good 200 and... 50-ish, 260 um, pieces of steel waiting to be slagged. Uh, but before I do that, let's haul this in. And then, of course, um, some bodies that I will now allow again. Two hundred and fifty doesn't quite get me up high enough to um Oh, let's flip this. I really forgot. It's already two PM. These aren't growing. I am stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Two fifty isn't enough to get me um the research bench I want. Of course breaking this down will give me some additional steel. I'm just about done with all the useful research I can get out of it. So soon it will no longer have a purpose. I don't care about your break risk. I'm getting to a point where I'm, um, unless a, uh, Unless I'm visited by a bulk goods um, vendor, I'm I've sort of gotten to a point where I've hit a wall. I can't really truly make any more meaningful progress um, unless bulk goods visits me, which is you know up to luck, somewhat. Trying to picture how I'm going to fit this in here. <laughs> uh, or if I could. I mean, I could plop it outside, but there's going to be a research penalty for that. And I'd like to have her warm if she's to be doing research. This battery is not quite full, but I want to separate it out from the grid. All my slag is done, so I'll start slag smelting as well. And I am... don't even have that much kibble left as backup food. I have all these bodies, of course, but like I said, I don't really want to rely on that. That's... That's not where uh, I wanted to take this colony. I didn't want to take it to... Uh, eating my neighbor's town. Don't leave that in the door. Just don't want to have any planting downtime anymore, so I'm just forcing him to, for her, forcing her to immediately start resowing. Another escape pod. Nag. Who is a nag? With an annoying voice. That's funny. Probably doesn't happen that often. No, 
won't do that. Oh, fine. Uh, I don't want her dropping it in the doorway, cooling everything off, so I'll let her finish that off, flick it. And get cooking. While I just force Doc to stand there. Alright, there we go. There's your food. Eating raw is wasteful and pisses them off. So, I try to avoid it as much as I can. And as you probably have noticed, I am running into power issues again. If I can make it through the winter, and I'm just about towards the end of the winter now, um, most of my power issues will go away. A lot of the power issues are because I'm fighting this like unbelievable bitter cold. Negative 138. I've seen it get up to negative 142. You know, if I was babysitting the um, the uh, temperature gauge. I'm sure it's probably spiked a little bit worse than that. But uh, that is stupidly cold. That's like Mars cold. Um, now, of course, there's atmosphere here. Yeah, that is about Mars cold. In the winter, near poles, temperatures get down to about minus 195 Fahrenheit or 125 Celsius. So this is this is colder than Mars. Um, having ap an atmosphere counts for something, but it is still, regardless, colder than Mars. That is um, that is exceptional, I must say. That I am surviving colder than Mars temperatures doesn't really make much sense that it's colder than Mars, but I'm in a parka. I mean, I'd have to, like, wrap myself in ten tauntauns to survive this kind of cold, but whatever. Game allows it to happen, so I'm not going to complain. Exotic goods. How about a bulk goods, please? I mean, I'm not going to poo-poo the exotic goods, but... Oh, crap. Right as I was about to trade. Because I think Doc... Actually, let's see. No path? What do you mean? Oh, seriously? You dropped your armor? The reason I'm doing this is... Every time I try to interact with this, what do you mean? Oh, fine, whatever. I give up. The reason I was doing that is every time I try to interact with the um, the trader, it says I'm in poor health. Now I'm not actually in poor health. It's that Doc prefers to be naked. I think. So I'm going to test that theory off. Why no path? What does that? You're not restricted in any way. How do you not have a path to it? What the hell? Because you're not wearing clothes, you can't trade with people? Fine. I'll, I'll take the hit. Because I don't think Angie's going to snap to in time to uh, trade with them. That pisses me off. Um... Alright, so what do I even want from you? I like almost want to just stick a joy wire in, but that reduces consciousness. Don't need to buy your thrombo horn. Huh. Um, you don't have steel. 
animal neuro trainer is certainly not going to do me any good. I will sell you my armors, though. My crappy ones. I'm actually getting really good prices off this vendor. I, I don't think the um, quote-unquote health condition uh, actually is making this any worse. To be, to be honest, um, limestone, grand sculpture, superior. Uh, let's see, is there a large steel offal? I don't know if this is good. Like, I don't know if buying a sculpture and breaking it down is like a good thing to do. Um, but let's see. I'm, I'm curious. I don't know if that's a, a viable way, but that sculpture wasn't particularly expensive, so this will answer this uh, question for me, which is if I deconstruct it. That's not bad. That isn't bad. That's uh, just over 100. So let's buy the other crap sculpture. Now, if they knew I was buying their works of art and just sort of scrapping them, Maybe they wouldn't sell them to me, but... Alright, so... And the other one... Let's just break it down. Now, of course, this is like... I haven't actually done the math, but, uh... It's like paying about three bucks per steel, I suspect. Something around there. Um... Which is not terrible, but... Yeah, I could probably do better than that. Um, all right, so let's toss this other turbine in once my lady here is less of a pain in the butt. And solar. Just finish it off. Lots of power generation. Just why not, right? And a battery here, because why not? That's been the theme. Why the hell not? And all this extra slag that I'm hauling will go towards the fifth hydroponic table. Um, that's the goal. Can actually fit another one in here. Because I'm being pretty bad at micromanaging this light, um, I want to get to a point where I just leave it on, so I am benefiting from every single moment of possible power generation. That is that is the ideal for me. And it's wasteful, sure, but um, I've just been really bad about turning this light on and off. So knowing myself, I know that I need to... Uh, need to set up a situation where I can just leave it on. Totally joy deprived. Alright, so she should be hauling more slag. You know what I can do here? I can actually expand my slag zone. She's been hauling slag pretty regularly. Alright, let's get done with this total joy deprive. Have some joy. Because your mood was not improving for a very long time. Um, Alright, that's fine. Yes. I just have enough steel for all of this. 
So it's quite a lot of power that I just recently added to my base. A lot of redundancies as well, as you noticed up here. That way, uh, I don't have a single point of failure. I mean, I do, sort of, but it's a little bit more secure. I can make it even better. Yeah, that's much better. Once I have it built. And that will, that will be perfect. Just like that. You know, I think about it, I can't move this. This, uh, I can't block this uh, spot here. So I'm just not going to worry about it. Alright, haul some slag. That's the name of the game. Oh, solar flare. When my rice plant's almost done. Curious if I harvest early. Well, that curiosity was not satisfied. <laughs> oh, it died quick. Can't wait till stupid winter is done. God. Alright, let's put you to work. There, I feel much better about that. That doesn't seem. Oh, wow, that was a. Super short solar flare. I'm okay with that. Alright, so now I have like a lot of redundancies on my power grid. Um, let's flick this off, Doc. You see, four turbines, four solar panels, and all I'm able to eke out is oh, barely any watts. There we go. A little bit of wind. I mean, these solar panels are reliable, but um, because there's always a little bit of sun, but there's never like a lot of sun, so it's constantly like teasing me. But I think the power generators overall are a lot better bang for your buck, but they're really susceptible to boom and bust. So it's it sucks. Really is what it, what it how I feel about it. Realize it's early to do that, but uh, I think it's necessary as well. To get it growing. You've had your fun. Get inside, get to work. <laughs> yep. Cracking that whip. There's lots of slag to smelt. And I put Doc back on research, which is fun for her. So she. 
her joy will go up a, a bit from that, which should help her mood. I'll just say mortars, why not? I am running out of kibble here. Is that the last of my kibble? Shit. I was hoping they would have food on them. Oh, he's already dead. They didn't come with any food. What I need is I need a bulk goods vendor or even a good old fashioned uh, good old fashioned siege because they prep food for a siege. Sorry, Seti. At least you didn't die. <laughs> Switching helmets, flicking turrets. Oh, did they just decide to leave? Oh, don't worry about that then. You could have the prisoner. Tattered Apparel by Doc, or in Tattered Mega Sloth Parka. Well, uh, I can't help you there. Truly, I cannot. I don't have any replacements. I don't have any warm parkas for you. This only gets you up to negative 40. See, this gets you to negative uh, 115. Uh, or actually, no, uh, that's not true. This. Gets you to negative, basically negative 115. Yep, you have to wear the shoddy parka. No way around it. If a bulk goods trader, once again, bulk goods trader, but if a bulk goods trader came and I could buy some better stuff. Alright, so I am starving, but there's rice to be cooked. That makes lots of sense. Shit. Stop putting in the doorway. It's really annoying. Really destructive. And I am barely staving off uh, starvation here. Not a good feeling. You keep sewing. I don't care if you want to sleep. We need to eat. Eating is more important. At least I can leave the light on now. And that's uh, 
four more meals there. There's a whole heck of a lot of haul out there. So I'll put her back on hauling. What else is out here? So there's this body, Nag. There's this body with the incendiary launcher that I have so poorly neglected. This body, that's newer. Some of this stuff. You, who's decided to die at the corner of the map, it's been a real, real pain to get you. Oh man. They're attacking immediately. Oh, that's not going to be difficult. Raid there. Solid work. I didn't have to do anything. You died on your own. All with wonderful personal shields to uh, to steal here. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's a lot of money worth of personal shields. To be to be fair, that's <laughs> a lot of money. So good raid with your silver ma oh silver mazes wow you were you guys pulled out all the fancy stops like idiots that you are the only thing I wish was that this mega sloth leather parka was stripped off of them before they died but I can't change the past. Sure, it's dead men's gear, but it has a use. All right. Although I am only thirty-three minutes into this, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. There isn't a lot happening. Um, there's no danger impending. I'm in a pretty good place other than the starvation, uh, or possible starvation. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you tune in uh, next time. Thank you for watching.